Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh for my weekly update. I'm just uh, showing you what how things are going out here, and I'll go inside to show you the, uh, the fish inside as well. I got some tomato plants here in this barrel that aren't really doing too much. I mean, they're alive and they're growing a little bit, but just not really producing anything just yet. And I got uh, some onions in here along with basil. And I put some, oh, and there's a broccoli plant back here that I had from before. Um, when I say before, from my aquaponic system inside, and it is huge. It's gotten really big, so this is the only broccoli plant that survived. <laughs> and I got <clears throat> this set up all just about ready to go. It drain, it'll drain down into this reservoir from those two pipes, and I gotta have a uh, bell siphon with a container so that sits higher than this. It'll drain into that, and I haven't just yet finished that, but um, other than that, this container here, I put some seaweed extract in with the fish just to kind of see whether or not I'd kill them or not and if it was safe for them. And it's supposed to be safe, I just don't know at what levels it is. So when I put it in there, it turned the water murky, but the goldfish are doing just fine. And I haven't really seen any difference on the plants yet, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It, it might help, you know, it might help and it might not. <laughs> so we'll see with that. Um, I, you can see these two drilled holes here, that's, this is to keep it from bowing or like letting it, you know, sag at all. And I put these wires here so that I could possibly like put some tomatoes on, or not tomatoes, but uh, strawberries and have them grow on that. And then over here, I lost some of my cantaloupe and watermelon to frost. Um, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? So I planted some more watermelon and cantaloupe over there in the center here. And on the sides and then there's still some that are kind of holding on but I don't know how long they'll stay alive for but and then a couple weeks ago I planted some water or not watermelon some either squash or zucchini or cucumber I can't remember which one but they're just sitting over here if you can see that there's one that came up there and then there's one oh, there's two over there so I'm hoping more will come up and then this system here it's doing all right, except for like the broccoli plants kind of suck. Um, I might pull them. I just have them in there right now just to kind of eat some of the nitrate in the water and for filtration. So I'll be planting some more stuff in there soon. Just haven't decided what I want in there yet. So um, in this system here, I've got tilapia and goldfish. You probably can't see it very well, but the water is pretty clear. Um, all the fish are doing well. The goldfish are getting huge along with the uh, tilapia is good so so far so good we've got a good working system and then uh, I guess I can take you over here here's some flowers that I planted to attract bees my potato barrel is doing really good I, the dirt is decently high I probably could put a little bit more in but I might wait and let it grow a little bit higher and uh, so far so good you know nothing's died yet in there so We'll see if it'll produce. I've got some tomato plants still running along here. Uh, I got some flowers on this one that I'm going to come out here pretty soon and pollinate some of them. There's one good one right there. Probably take my uh, electric toothbrush out here and pollinate them. And then I got let's see some garlic up here that's doing all right. Uh, this is a, my grapevine that I took outside from inside, and it's, well, I'm not really sure what it's doing now. It doesn't look all that healthy. It might be drying out. You see, I, I filled this thing, but it's, I don't know if it's wicking the water up, so I might have to water it from up top for a while, but I've got uh, basil here. And then uh, these are just some plants from my garden. And then I've got some basil there as well. And basil down there, basil. And then here are the habanero plants that I've got going. I'm pretty sure they're habaneros now because they are setting fruit finally. If you can see that, there's one right there. And then let's see if I can't find another nice sized one. There's one right there as well. Yeah, so it, they're coming in. And there, there should be some on this plant as well. But, yeah, there's some up here. It's kind of hard to tell with them being so small right now. But they're setting fruit, which is good. And then I've got my tomato plants sitting here. 
and these guys have flowers on them, but they don't, they've got buds, but no flowers. So I don't know what's up with that. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Like, there's no yellow flowers inside. There's just the bud, and there's nothing in it. So, maybe somebody else can make some sense of that. Uh, this is a green bean plant that's pretty much dead. And then I lost one pepper heat plant here to frost. Was in the process of losing this one, and that one, and that one's barely hanging on. These are Buchalokia peppers. So I'm hoping with it being warmer now, they'll survive, and I might move one out here just, you know, for good measures. And then, um, I can take it inside. To the windowsill unit. I planted some more watermelon and squash in here. Just so that I can kind of hopefully get more. I'm really wanting to do watermelon and, uh, sorry, watermelon and cantaloupe. Because they're really tasty. So, um, I've got this micro tom here setting one fruit on it so far, one tomato. And there's a Bucciolokia pepper there that I'm going to move outside here in a second, along with another micro tom, another tomato plant there. And then this basil plant here is going to seed. So I might be able to use that for uh, seeds later on. And then this micro tom got burnt a long time ago, so it's not really doing so well. But other than that, these systems are doing pretty well. I like starting my seeds in here because I can fit a ton of seeds. So we'll kind of see how things go with that. Then, um, here are where the fish are. And my plants. So this grow table is doing super well. Um, these are carrots. I really have no idea when carrots are done. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> This is Buchalokia pepper that is, like, this was the same age as those other ones that you saw out there in those systems, but this one's doing super well. Along with this one over there, that's Buchalokia pepper. Same age as those other peppers. I think it's because it's super humid in here from these fish tanks. And it's just, they're really doing well. So, I got these tanks up and running with some filters on them. I'm going to put uh, biological filters, you know, aquaponic system. I'm going to make a shelf and put that up there with some fluorescent lights. And then uh, I got six in this system here. I should probably put three more in here. I just didn't want to shock it too early. And I've got six of them in here. One of them's about the size of my hand. Um, and I've had, I think they were born in February. So February, March, April, May, three months old. And already one of them's about the size of my hand. Well, I'm kind of close here, but yeah. yeah. They're getting pretty pretty big so pretty soon I'll be able to figure out which one's male or female and kind of move them around to get the right amounts here because this is going to be my breeder tank along with this one here and then this tank here is still holding a bunch of them uh, the filtration is really good so they're they're surviving I probably should move some more outside but I'm still kind of worried with the frost happening just last week it's kind of scary <laughs> I probably got about 20 or 30 in here so I'm keeping this tank around for whenever the females get pregnant. I can put a female in here, just one. And since there's no rocks, this is kind of how you're supposed to do it, so that when the female ha drops eggs, she'll be able to find them. And then uh, I might eventually do like an egg incubator, but that'll be in the future. I'll just stick with this. And then once the female gets done, the, the eggs hatch, I just move her back into her tank and then leave all the babies in here. So. Uh, yeah, aquaponics inside is doing really well. These systems are doing great because it's, the climate control is just amazing, you know. So, other than that, you know, I got one more thing to show you. My micro toms that I have <clears throat> in here. Sorry for my terrible camera work. I'm using my iPhone and it's tiny. So, uh, so yeah, I had a hornworm, or some kind of, uh, it wasn't a worm, it was like a, a caterpillar that was on this tomato plant here, and he's eating the leaves, so I'm assuming it was a hornworm in training or something, and I took him off, peeled him off, and then threw him in the fish tank, and the fish ate him, like, within two seconds, which is great, so if more of them hatch, oh darn, just more fish food, so... These guys are doing pretty great, except for after that hornworm attack, this this plant started getting droopy. So maybe you guys might have some solution for it. But I gotta go, running out of time. So I'll see you next week. Later.